Now, I've already showed you how to go through a site like 888 Lots, right, and source individual items, kind of like coupon websites, right? Now, these are liquidation pallets a lot of times with 888 Lots, and you can also source individual items from those pallets potentially, although you do have to hit the threshold of $100, right? So you can't go through and buy like, you know, a, a dollar item. You need to rack all those dollar items up to hit 100. What I personally like to do is I like to mix and match, right? So I'll order like a pallet or two, and then, you know, as you see here, like I'm gonna run through here in a second, you have this pallet right here is like $18 for 46 uh, units right here, or 46 um, um, 46 uh, items, and it's 39 cents a unit. Same thing with this one, $8 uh, lot price, 46 uh, items, 17 cents a unit. So if you look at these, and I'm gonna show you examples of these here in a second, they're jewelry, so a lot of them actually don't sell well back on Amazon, and I'm gonna show you how to do the product research in this video, show you how to find prof profitable products and profitable pallets. I'm gonna show you an example of a profitable pallet that I'm about to buy as soon as we're done this video. I didn't plan this video, I was literally sourcing through like I would any other morning, and I was going through 888 Lots to buy my own pallet, and I found a great example of a pallet where you can basically pay for the pallet in one of the items and then you have like 50 other items or 60 other items um what is it uh sorry excuse me 106 other items here's the example here in a second we're going to talk about it so you're going to pay for the pallet and some with one of the item things and then you have like a hundred or there's 15 of a quantity sorry i'm doing a bad job of explaining it but so with 15 of the quantity of one of the items pays for the entire pallet right here of about 300 bucks and i'm gonna show you that example here in a second and then i have the rest of the items whatever that is like 95 96 or whatever to pay for the entirety of the lot i think i did bad math there but you get the picture. It might be like 90 units, whatever. So what I'm trying to say is what I like to do is I'm gonna go through, because I have to hit that $100 threshold to initiate the shipment, right? Is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order this pallet. I'm gonna show you how I figured out that this is a profitable pallet that I wanna go ahead and buy. And I might also add this pallet right here to it. It's $18 with 46 units. And I also might add this one right here. I wanna look into them a little bit more. Now, if you see here, if I pull these pallets up, and another thing I like to do too is I'll like, if I order this pallet and I order this pallet and I order this pallet, what I'll also do is to hit, because I've already hit that $100 threshold, I'll come into individual items as well, and I'll source through some of the individual items to see if there's any great individual items right here that I can also add to my pallet to make more money. That's what I like to do. If you just wanna go through and source pallets, you can do that. If you just wanna go through and source individual items, you can do that as well, but that's just what I like to do. I just like to get the most bang for my buck because if I know if I'm paying 288 for a pallet and I'm already initiating that shipment threshold, I might as well capitalize on all the other ones that I can because if I wanted to come through and just buy this pallet, I couldn't, right? Because it's only $18. I still have to hit, you know, 72 or whatever the rest of that is, 82. I can't do math today for some reason. So I'm gonna show you examples of pallets. If I were to source through this, this jewelry pallet right here, look, I'm, I'm paying $18 for the, the entire pallet. I'm getting 46 units. And believe it or not, these have been selling really, really well. As long as you have like a good listing, and that's the benefit of these pallets is they show you the ASIN. So you can take that ASIN and literally take the listing, all the good pictures, which are gonna help it sell better on Poshmark and Mercari. And then as soon as you have a good listing, you can list it on Poshmark and Mercari and make like five to 10 buck profit margin on a lot of these uh, jewelry items. Now they don't sell well back on Amazon. As you see here, this is like a million or whatever. Uh, yeah, a million, uh, 174,000. So that's obviously not selling well back on Amazon. And that is the case for a lot of these jewelry items. They don't sell well back on Amazon. But if you're getting them at whatever it is, it's 17 cents a unit, You, I mean, you're paying pennies, literally pennies for this. And then you can flip them back on Poshmark and Mercari for a profit. And you're getting super, super, super cheap inventory. You might, it might take you, you know, a, a week or two, maybe a month to get all your money back. But then you're going, once you get your money back really fast from those, then it's just profit, profit, profit for the next couple months on the rest of those items. So that's just something I like to play around with. Let me show you an example of a palette that I identified is a good palette. Not talking about the jewelry anymore, okay? That's just a little side note, a little side kind of bonus tip for you. Not talking about the individual uh, sourcing. That's just a little side tip little bonus for you what I was actually doing this morning is I was looking through the, some of the fixed price lots right here and I wanted to basically identify what was a good fixed price lot 
and which ones I should source. Now, what I like to do is I want to go through the lots, and this is an example of one right here. It's 288 to my door. Um, I think that doesn't count shipping. The, sh the shipping might be like 30 or 40 bucks, or it might be 20 bucks, depending on how much it weighs. But currently, I'm paying 288 minus the shipping for 269 a unit for 107 units. So what I like to see here is I'm going to do product research ahead of time, right? This isn't like the coupon websites where you can literally just do a little bit of product research and you're only taking like a small risk on like a dollar item or like a small risk on like a three dollar item right you're spending 288 bucks here so you probably want to do a little bit more product research ahead of time to make sure that you're profitable so what i'll do is i'll start at the top right and i'll literally go through and look at all the asin so i'll take the asin into seller central and i'll paste it in and i want to see okay what's the margin what's the best seller rank right is it selling well is it something that i can sell back on amazon that i'm a hundred percent sure will pay for the pallet all i need to do is find a couple of items in the pallet that are going to pay for the cost of the pallet and then i know that okay maybe five of the items paid for the cost of the pallet now now i have a hundred other items that i can sell any other place if i sell them back on amazon great but if I sell them back on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari too, that's also a profit margin because I'm getting 100 free items because like five items paid for the cost of the pallet, right? But the best way to kind of learn this is literally trial and error. Hop on sites like 888 Lots, start sourcing, use the, the techniques that I'm about to show you here, and you can find great pallets that you're gonna make a lot of money on if you're willing to put in a little bit of the legwork, right? So like I said, this is a bad example of a product. It's about 2 million, it looks like, or yeah, about 2, yeah, 2 million. So obviously this isn't selling well. If I looked at this uh, in Seller Central right here, uh, it was a, a large. It's going to tell me that it's not selling very well, right? So yeah, it sells for 99, 95.75, but it probably doesn't have a bestseller rank. It's probably not very ranked. Look, almost 3 million. So clearly that's not selling very well. So I can't bank on selling this back on Amazon. Obviously I'm getting one of these so i'm getting a quantity of one of these so i could sell this back on poshmark ebay or mercari for you know 50 bucks 60 bucks 70 bucks potentially and eventually it probably will sell because it's a high quality item it's jacket and it's currently august you i know you can't see the the date because my head's in the way right now but it's currently august 9th so we're moving into fall and winter so a lot of these jackets will sell very very fast on poshmark ebay and mercari it might take a month month and a half to sell them all but eventually I'm gonna recoup my money. So all I really need to find in this, in all these items, and you get all the information right here, how many pieces, so how much quantity, what they're ranked in the category, so you can do some research, right? What they sell for on Amazon, what you're paying for them, and obviously you're paying, you can't individually buy these, so the, the cost to you doesn't really matter. What you care about is the cost per unit up here, so the average unit price and your total price and how many units are coming in the box, right? So all I need to find is one or two unit things right here that are gonna pay for the cost of the pallet. And then I have the rest of these items to sell back on Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatever, for 100% profit. So if I sell them back, if some of them can resell back on Amazon, then great. If not, then, well, I can sell them on other sites and still make 100% profit margin. So let me show you the one example, because like I said, I was doing product research ahead of this video. I didn't plan to actually film this video, but once I saw a great example of a pallet, I was like, okay, I wanna use this as an example so that other people can see there are great pallets on this website if you're just willing to do some of the product research. And I was probably doing product research for like 15 minutes, it wasn't long. Boom, found a great example of a pallet that I can resell, so let me show you what I mean. So here's the item, I was sorting through and I'm trying to find an example of an item that is literally just gonna pay for the entirety of the pallet. Now that might be one item, as it is in this case, like I'll show you, or it might be like a combination of like four items. And as you see here, I usually have my calculator up, so I'm like adding it up. So I'm like, okay, that's $50 profit on that item. That's, you know, maybe $45 profit on that item and then another $70 profit on that item that puts me at 165. So now I still need to make like another, it was 288, so I still need to make like another 120 to be profitable and then see how many items I have left, right? But I don't have to add up all those numbers because this item right here will literally pay for the entire pallet by itself. So 15 pieces, I'm getting 15, a quantity of 15 of these hats, right? Let me take the ASN into Seller Central and I'll show you what I mean. That's not the ASN, that's double ASNs. So this pops up and it shows you it's 186,000 in clothes, right? So let's pull up the product and I can sell it as new collectible or used conditions. So let me show you an example. And what size was it? It was an extra small. So extra small. And look, it's selling for 28.99. So we can assume that let's let me show you the example of the best seller rank really fast. So 192 in clothing, shoes and jewelry, which is a big category. 
It's selling about two a day or about 60 a month. So eventually, if I have 15 of these, it should take me, you know, if it's selling two a day, it should take me a little bit over a week to sell these. I like to usually take a conservative estimate. So I'll, I'm gonna assume that it's probably only gonna take me maybe two weeks to flip all these and then I made my money back on the pallet and I literally have the rest of these to sell for a 100% profit margin. Look, this is worth 32 bucks, 1750, 1750, 20, 30, 30, 26, 50, 50. And look at all these high quality things that are brand new that I can flip back on Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari simply because 15 of these hats paid for the entirety of the pallet, right? So look, there's only two uh, other sellers, so I'm not really competing with anybody. One of them is Amazon. One of them's Amazon and one of them's Z Financial LLC, and they both have them listed fairly high, so I could clearly sell this back on this listing very, very quickly. I'm gonna take the conservative estimate and say, you know, maybe two weeks it would take me to sell these, but that's gonna pay for the entirety of the pallet by itself, because look, even if we assume that maybe we only make 20 bucks after Amazon fees on this, 20 times 15, because remember, there's 15 in the pallet, right? 20 times 15 is literally 300 bucks profit, right? So 300 bucks literally pays for the entirety of this pallet, which is 288. So now I'm positive on the pallet with one item, wherever it is, I'm positive on the pallet literally just by selling these 15 right here, boom. And then I can sell the rest of these back on Amazon if you know they're, if I can sell them back on Amazon. So to give you an example, maybe this is a good Amazon product, maybe it isn't, it says it's 1500 roughly in its category. But even if I can't sell them back on Amazon, it's still it's still a hundred. What is that? Let's do the math so that I can stop guessing right here. There was a where, how many? 107 in the pallet minus 15 items because that's what we're saying is going to pay for the pallet. So literally 92 high quality jackets, coats, and shirts that I can sell back for you know a ridiculous profit. Now let's assume that I make ten dollars, which is super super low because keep in mind a lot of these are worth a lot more money than that. You have like a bunch of jackets in here. Let's just assume like $10 profit margin on that. So 92 times 10 is obviously 920 bucks profit off this pallet. And that's just assuming that. So let's assume very, very low of $5 profit margin. It's gonna be a lot higher than that. So $5 profit margin on the rest of those 92 still makes me 460. Now, if we sold them all for like 20, potentially that's probably a little bit high, but let's just do the math because I like, I like playing with numbers. Then that's $1,800 profit in this pallet Obviously, as you see here, it's telling you that the estimated selling price on Amazon is that, the retail price is that. I never pay attention to these numbers, but they're just a little bit of encouragement. Now, this is a great pallet. I'm gonna go ahead and potentially buy this pallet after this video. But you guys, if you hop on 888 Lots and you source some of these pallets and just do a little bit of product research, you're gonna find great pallets that are gonna pay for themselves time and time again. And then you're gonna have a ridiculous amount of other items to sell for 100% profit margin.